Assalamu alaikum ninjas and welcome back, welcome back, your ninja Muhammad with another visited review after four years I'm having the Huawei Mate 20 series, this is the Mate 20 guys, yes Mate 20 in my hands, uh, what a great great phone guys, unbelievable, you can, if you can get it second hand or slash refurbished over the Amazon, whatever, I will try to find the buying links in the description, brand new, still a bit pricey to be honest, but it's a great great phone and I don't know why they don't produce any more these kind of phones in budget world that they have such a wide screen guys, That's a very wide screen i don't know do i have anything next to me here but i just love this flat wide screen it just looks enormous it looks enormous uh, anyway mate 20 here global version google play uh, store google play services uh, google apps works just without any problems whatsoever doesn't have uh, problems with that so just have it in mind anyway we're going to cover a short review of screen audio uh, camera performance gaming yes in one single video so enjoy it in the description you're going to have all the buying links for many different huawei mate series and p series that you can purchase online. Let's begin with this video. Anyway guys, this is a beautiful design in my uh, in my opinion, still very hard to find a budget cheap phone of this price tag. In my, in my country, example, second hand, you can get this device for maybe around $150 in a good, great condition, around $150, which is really great, man. $150 bucks is even very difficult to find anything cheap right now, brand new, for $150 to buy it for this price tag. And remember, this is a four years old device, so we have a glass on the front, glass on the back, aluminum alloy, 188 grams so it's a very light device guys with only 8.3 millimeter thickness so it's a very thin device also believe it or not it has IR blaster uh, noise cancellation microphone 3.5 millimeter headphone jack SD card expansion uh, secondary speakers two speakers guys types USB port uh, I mean cool stuff plus fingerprint sensor on the back this is a, obviously a fingerprint sensor on the back uh, it's a physical one but uh, design wise uh, material used here just a premium phone uh, even if you buy it second hand in a mint good good great condition let's start with the screen review there we go guys screen wise checking right now here in hdr 60 fps video over the youtube i mean check it out this screen beautiful it's not even an amoled uh, but absolutely one of the best ips lcd ips panels that i ever saw in my life also great viewing angles you would never thought that this is an ips panel you check out these viewing angles guys unbelievable um, um, unbelievable panel here with the Huawei Mate uh, 20 uh, Huawei Mate 20 anyway so we have a 6.53 inch screen LCD IPS 18 with 9 aspect ratio full HD plus resolution full HD plus resolution uh, yes it has this beautiful HDR certified DC IP3 uh, panel Corning Gorilla glass protection it seems so and a water drop uh, water drop notch here on the top which is very very small very very small notch guys again deep uh, blacks are really good to be honest I think uh, maybe my camera can't catch all the details right now but uh, regarding the, this display I give it 9 score easily 9 score easily 9 score even after 4 years guys this is a great great screen anyway it is only 60 Hz but again guys uh, uh, if you can get it second hand for $150 I mean what do you want man 60 Hz is still amazing amazing uh, panel here for this price tag uh, anyway let's go now with the speakers beautiful man I don't know what to say else man it's just an amazing screen there we go Amazon Days beatbox only in the background so it has stereo speakers guys similar to Pocophone F1 example since it came in the same year 2018 uh, and the top speaker it's coming from earpiece it doesn't have a secondary speaker it comes from the earpiece so it's not loud as this one it's around maybe 30-40% of the loudness of this one nevertheless from 1 to 10 I'm giving it 8 score 8 score guys solid solid score seriously solid Let's go. Okay, so let's move to the performance and the SOC. Of course, in my opinion, the top three best thing about this device is the Kirin 980, guys. Kirin 980 uh, was my favorite chip of uh, next to the Snapdragon 845 for 2018, beginning of 2019. Check out almost half a million points on Antutu. GPU score is 114,000, guys. That's an insane beast there, there. Seriously, an insane beast here. So Kirin 980, we have 4 GB of RAM, 128 GB of storage. Very fluid experience. I mean, you can judge by yourself that this is very, very fluid here you're not gonna have problems uh, what so any problems whatsoever here with the uh, Huawei Mate 20 beautiful man beautiful beautiful remember this is the same chip with the uh, which Huawei P30 and P30 Pro have yes awesome stuff awesome stuff here or maybe we can enter some wallpaper app here we go ah oh, wow man it just looks amazing on many different wallpapers over here very good app to be honest this is a really nice uh, wallpaper app it's called uh, Wallcraft. It's called Wallcraft. 
Shortly, I will be showing you just the information of our device, device info. So remember, we have a Mali G76, very powerful GPU. You will check the gaming. I'll be showing you also a few games here. And we're going to go to the sensors. Believe it or not, this device has gyroscope and barometer. Uh, I don't know any other phone that has barometer of this price tag, man. Mid-range, low end, budget, none of them have barometer, except if you can find a rugged device. Usually only rugged devices under $300 offer also barometer, gyroscope barometer. Beautiful. Okay, guys, very important to check the fingerprint sensor what happened after uh, longevity, obviously no longer use. So let's try to use it here. I just set it up and uh, you can see by yourself that it works just fine. This is an actual uh, physical fingerprint sensor on the back and very accurate and very, very fast. Thank you, Huawei. May 20. Just let's test a little bit gaming here, the Kirin 980. Absolute beast. Uh, I'm telling you guys, this is probably uh, the most optimized, the very well balanced uh, chip. Uh, and you know that in some cases, uh, I even uh, titled it as better than the uh, Snapdragon 845 2018 2019. Check this performance, guys. This is right now running. Uh, it seems like it's running full speed here on uh, default settings. Full speed 60 FPS. That is crazy. I don't need some enemies, bro. Give me some enemies here. I'm gonna go here. I think they are here somewhere, yeah? Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, behind me, they killed me. Okay, no problems. Let's go next. I'm gonna try to get somebody. I hope so. Come on, come on, come on. Nobody here. So far, still 60 FPS. So far, still 60 FPS. We're also testing another game. <coughs> Let's see over here, are they here? I think that everybody's checking this out. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, they get killed, killed me again. Somebody, I think they are very professional, bro. And then let's go to the next game. So far, I'm seeing guys, it's running completely 60 FPS. There we go, guys. Asphalt 9. 60 FPS mode. Running great, man. Kirin 980. Check it out these graphics, guys, and check it out this panel. I just love how wide this phone is, bro. This display. Oh, let's disable that and play around by ourselves. That is so smooth. That is seriously so smooth. Beautiful. Let's go next. Anyway, guys, so of course, we have to mention the battery performance of the Huawei Mate 20. Uh, believe it or not, uh, it has better battery life than the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. This has a 4000 mAh battery and 20, uh, 22 watts fast charging technology. Of course, you can uh, s uh, select here a different uh, uh, performance mode, power saving mode, different modes uh, to for the better saving battery mode. And you can get 7 to 8 hours screen on time, which is crazy. Seriously, seriously crazy results for the Huawei Mate 20. Huawei Mate 20, Kirin 917, Kirin 980 with a Great, great chip for the performance, uh, battery optimization, performance optimization, sustained performance, everything, everything about this chip is amazing. Anyway, let's go now move with the camera here. Here we go, this is the default camera app. What I love about this device, guys, as the Huawei P20 Pro, the front selfie camera is insane. I love the front selfie camera. By the way, this phone can record 4K, 30 FPS. It can go to uh, 60 FPS, unfortunately. 1080p, 60 FPS is available, while the front selfie camera can record 1080p maximum. And uh, what can I tell you is regarding the selfie camera, it doesn't have an uh, EIS, unfortunately, it doesn't have a video stabilization here with the Huawei Mate 20, while with the Mate, Huawei Mate 20 Pro, it did have, which is very weird, very, very weird, guys. So on the back setup, setup here on the back, what do we have? A 12 megapixel main camera here. Uh, ultra wide camera is 20 megapixel. Very beautiful, sharp pictures with the ultra wide camera. I love it, seriously, I love it. And we have telephoto lens of eight megapixel for, of course, optical uh, image zoom. Yeah, yeah, it does have it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll show you right now the samples and you can judge by yourself. Just check it out how beautiful this picture is, guys. This is taken with the Huawei Mate 20 after four years and it's, uh, it, it's 
unbelievable it's no it's no no you can't buy a new phone uh, around 150 bucks that can beat this device in the perform uh, and of course camera performance battery performance uh, uh, speed performance etc etc nevertheless let's go now and show you uh, the results check out this uh, uh, ultra wide camera picture guys this picture sample, check out how sharp it is. Uh, great details, uh, great dynamic range. Let me just show right now. Seriously, great dynamic range for ultra wide camera lens here. And beautiful colors all together. We'll be showing you pictures and video samples right now. Enjoy. Make, by the way, make sure to check my full review of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro also. Yeah, let's go. Okay, this right now, Huawei Mate 20, 4K test, 30 FPS. Sorry, I was on the bottom there. I can see myself. This is video stability test also with the 4K, 30 FPS. Wow, I made 20 after all the updates, guys. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's turn back and walk up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. Let's go next. Okay, just this is the Huawei Mate 20 with the selfie uh, camera on the front recording video and let's check it out also here the video stability I'm just using my uh, hand, one hand, the right hand and you can judge by yourself obviously Kirin 980 with this uh, phone which I love seriously one of the best buys right now uh, in my opinion top three best buys uh, uh, second hand refurbished old uh, uh, slash on slash flagship devices Huawei Mate 20 let's go next Okay, this is right now Huawei Mate 20, 1080p, 30 FPS footage. So we're just checking right now the stability test. It's a very nice area for... And by the way, guys, the stability looks impressive. Very, very impressive. A uh, shame that it doesn't have it with the front selfie camera. But for now, this is very good. With the back camera, 1080p, 30 FPS size. I think that most of you will agree with me, yeah? Awesome stuff. Awesome camera setup. Let's go next.